After a last-minute scare, the president's nominee for attorney general looks like a sure thing. The Senate Judiciary Committee approved the nomination of Michael Mukasey Tuesday, setting the stage for debate by the full Senate. At the heart of the committee's discussion, the controversial interrogation technique known as waterboarding. Most Democrats argued that while Judge Mukasey called it repugnant, his refusal to equate it with torture makes him the wrong man for the job. America, the great and good nation that has been a beacon to the world on human rights, does not torture and should stand against torture. His unwillingness to say what we all know, that waterboarding is torture, sends the wrong signal to the rest of the world. But not all committee Democrats shared that view. I don't believe that Judge McCasey should be denied confirmation for failing to provide an absolute answer on this one subject. And Mukasey's personal assurance about waterboarding won him another vote. He has personally made clear to me that if Congress passed further legislation in this area, the president would have no legal authority to ignore it, and Judge Mukasey would enforce it. The votes of those two Democrats, coupled with the unanimous backing of committee Republicans, sent Mukasey's nomination to the full Senate. This committee vote was the main hurdle to Mukasey becoming the nation's 81st Attorney General. And while Democrats will continue to hammer away at his refusal to say that waterboarding is torture, he's expected to have little trouble getting 65 to 70 votes in winning Senate confirmation. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.